What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today's video, we are about to go, okay, I already went to Ikea, but I just wanna do an intro real quick because I forgot to do one while I was there. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Ikea. I haven't been there in forever and I'm gonna do a shopping haul with you guys and go shopping. We're going shopping at Ikea. I've heard from around the grapevine and on TikTok I've seen where they have like so much good like home stuff for such a great price and a lot of good useful items. So that was my goal going into it, but uh, that's my only announcement. I just wanted to do a little intro. I want to say hello to you. Thank you for being here. Be sure and smash that subscribe button before you leave for more hauls like this. Let's jump right in. Let's go to Ikea. Welcome to Ikea. I haven't been to Ikea in probably four to five years, wouldn't you say, Ty? Since we lived in the IE. So like six years. <laughs> and I've seen some videos on how good their stuff is in this store and like good home stuff. I'm not looking for furniture, but accessories. So I'm gonna take you with me today. We're about to go Ikea shopping. We're gonna see all that's new and I'm probably gonna get a bunch of goodies. Unnecessary things I don't need. Just kidding, I need some of the stuff. So let's go, let's go. <laughs> okay, first off, this is so cute. They have all these little fake plants. Mm -hmm. I love this. Are you gonna get some Ikea wieners? Where are they? I think it'll probably be in the store. They sell food here, y'all. In case you've never been in Ikea, it's all wieners, right? <laughs> Why do you have to say wieners and not wieners. hot dogs? Say a hot well, dog. Swedish wieners? Sure. <laughs> Something like that. It must be. Where do we get a cart? Uh, do they have carts? I don't know. Have you seen the thing where like people will be sleeping in here? I have seen that. Like crazy, the showrooms they have. Knickknacks everywhere. Oh my gosh, what is this? What is this, honey? Phone holder? Oh, maybe? phone holder. It says it's a phone holder. What kind of shopping trip is this? Are we gonna need a buggy? Do we need a hand? I don't think so. I feel like we are eventually gonna need a cart, but I'm not sure. We'll find one on the way, maybe. So I guess I was thinking of yeah, you were right. Swedish meatballs. But now they used to have the hot dogs. Here. Like brats, maybe? I don't know if I'm gonna eat here. You're gonna try Swedish meatball. I don't eat meatballs <laughs> of any sort. Okay, we'll figure it out. We've got a cart for our food. It's so cute. I'm just opening it what you want. Starting off with dessert, do you want anything? Why is this? No, I'm not gonna do dessert. We have a roasted chicken I'm gonna get, maybe. Okay, we're just browsing the rooms that are staged first because it kind of helps you see like everything they have and everything you might want to get whenever you go down to like the shopping area. This is really nice and I like these containers and I really like these little seasoning jars. They're really pretty. Cute baskets for the pantry. So I'm getting a lot of ideas. We have the natural grocery bags. Getting a lot of ideas up in here. All right, guys, we're in the kitchen area here at Ikea. They have literally all kinds of different kitchen items so i'm picking out a few things we just went through the showroom which was pretty cool so far i just got three things but we're still we're just getting started in this area all this stuff is so nice and like pretty and minimal so i really like the vibe up in here i don't know what else i'm gonna buy we'll see let's investigate time was to check out the staging of the gamer room. Is that what this is? Yes, we do need a hand <laughs> <laughs> Do we? Just Pretty cute for a game room. Pretty organized. Yeah, I don't need anything though. Except for this head. He said I don't need anything except for this head. For what? Because it lights up. Oh. Right. Okay, these containers are so nice. They look like that with a wooden top. And I got some off of Amazon I really like, but they got them all here. So I'm gonna get a few of these. Really cute. They also have them in plastic, but I really like the glass. A little nicer. Oh, there they go. Here I go, here I go. Gorgeous. Two of them. Perfect. We are officially in the shopping area and we already found a bunch of stuff upstairs, but this is the area where you buy everything. I'm gonna get one of these. These look so bowl? nice. It's a mixing bowl. So cute. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. These little aprons. A sister. Let's get a sister. I don't know why we wouldn't have one. All right, all right, all right. What else? Oh my gosh, these trays look so nice. I need new ones. I'm gonna get two of these. I need fresh baking trays. Here are some really beautiful porcelain baking dishes. I kind of want to get one. I think I'm gonna get one. Kind of heavy, it's nice, huh? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I want a big measuring cup. Yes, God, loves it. My cart's getting full, isn't it, Ty? Okay, okay, we're making progress. They have so much stuff, you guys. I'm kind of dying in here. Like, I, I'm all about this energy. 
I have some of these already, really nice. So I don't need those. All right, guys, look at my cart right now. Hey, freestyle. <laughs> oh my God, I found way too much stuff. I knew I would do this because I haven't been here in like a really long time, but they've really stepped it up. This is like the outdoor gardening area or, well, these are faux flowers. So I guess this indoor decor, but everything is so cute. Look at all the greenery. Wow. Are you ready? To leave or? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're almost done. Yeah, I think we're almost done. Okay, we're back from Ikea. Here's my receipt. I spent a grand total of $354. That's with tax, so without tax, $321. Got way too much stuff, but I was really excited because I've kind of slacked off organizing and I found a bunch of different organizing things. So that's mostly what I got. And then the kitchen section, I literally blacked out and went crazy. So I'll show you everything I got there. So I think this is the first item I picked up in the store. It's not a Laura Lee haul unless I get a throw blanket. I'm just gonna say this. I wish they would put the price of their item on the actual item so you could see. They do have signage with the pricing, but I think it would be better if they put on the actual item, especially because the customers in front of me were asking like every single item, like how much was that? How much was that? Can you take that off? And it's because sometimes the pricing isn't like always that clear. Sometimes it is in the store, but not always. It's not always like that clear. Like I'm about to have to look up every single item to tell you the price. Ooh. So the throws were $12.99. I ended up getting two of them. They do look quite similar, but if you get close up, they are a little bit different. I like to put the rows everywhere in my house like on all the chairs couches you'll see them everywhere my house tours up by the way i can link that down below but because i have cats they like to sleep on the throws it also helps keep their cat hair off the furniture but also i get so cold so easy so i bought two throws like i'm sorry but they're just like a must-have in my life it's so hard to tell on the receipt what is what i try to look some stuff up online and it doesn't say the price or like didn't pull up the item so i'm a little confused actually one of my throws was 19 dollars, and one of them was 12. i did not know there was a price difference but now we do okay i literally went online and typed in all the numbers so i would have the prices for you guys <laughs> moving forward we'll have prices next i bought these dish cloths which they feel really nice comes with a two pack i ended up buying two packs of them because I want to replace some of my really gross dis dishcloths and I retire them to the garage for like heavy duty cleaning where they don't need to be touching dishes. Look how big they are. They had like an example. Nice and big. Nice little dishcloth here. So I'm going to clean up my dishcloth drawer this afternoon and get these. Let me tell you how much they cost. So $7.89 for a two pack. Not too bad. I feel like that's like about home good pricing. And yeah, these look really pretty. Pretty dishcloths is what we're in the market for. Next up, I got a couple different dishes because I want to replace some of my really old dishes. I got these porcelain little bowls. They were so cute. They were on clearance for 79 cents each. That is a really good deal. And so then I also got the matching plates because I want to replace some of my plates in my cabinets. These two were 79 cents. If you guys hang tight towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys how I use some of this stuff and like where I'm going to put it so you can get a vision, a vision for what I purchased. Okay, next up, I got these little storage containers. If you need storage containers, they have every shape, size, like whatever you could imagine they have it. But these hook onto something, but you could also just set them down on a counter. You don't have to hook them onto something, but they were only 99 cents. And I will say this is probably the only storage item I bought that I don't have a specific place for in my head. I'll have to figure it out, but I was like, they're 99 cents. I saw how they were using them. They like hooked them on all kinds of different things. So handy. So okay, I'm gonna grab two. I'm gonna grab two, but I try to have a plan for things before I buy them so I don't waste, but I think this is the only thing I didn't know what I was gonna do with. So we'll figure it out. Next up, this picture was really pretty. I dread taking, like picking all these stickers off. I know hot water helps that, but it's still gonna be not very fun. But anyways, this was $4.99. And I thought if we had guests over, it'd be really cute to make lemonade or a fruity water and put in this or to put flowers in it. So either way, I thought this would be great for that. I don't have like a pretty picture like this. I only have plastic cheapy ones, which that one was super cheap. It just looks nicer. I got some gloves. These are just simple kitchen gloves. These were 99 cent cheaper than Dollar Tree and they felt nicer than Dollar Tree ones. Not that it matters because they're just for cleaning, but picked up some of those. For $12.99, I got a four pack of plate bowls. I love eating off plate bowls. These feel so luxe and heavy. They feel like they're from Crate and Barrel. If I would have got the same beautiful color and thing from Crate and Barrel, this would have cost me 40, 50 bucks, but it was $12.99 for a four pack. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for these to replace some of my other stuff that's getting really old and gross. Next, I got this measuring cup. I needed a like one with all the measurements on it. The only thing I'll say 
days it feels so so thin like this is definitely gonna get broken at some point in my house there's no way this thing is gonna survive it was four dollars and like 50 cents 450 hopefully it'll get a few uses before it gets broken but i'm talking about the glass is like shockingly thin but i really wanted one it was pretty cheap so i break it right now imagine Okay, there's one item I got a little gooped and stooped on, and it was these, which these, this is a thick, like a thick glass. So I have some of these from Amazon. I bought a pack of them and they're storage containers, but they come with these bamboo lids and the ones at Amazon come with the lids. And then these, you have to like purchase the lids separately. So just this one container alone was $4.50 for just this which is nice, but I'm like, okay. I thought the lid came with it. And this is where I got gooped and stooped. The lid alone is like $5.50. So this one little container was like, what? Like $10. And I'm just like, I feel like I got the pack of them on Amazon for like less. <laughs> Maybe not less than that, but I ended up buying two. They're really nice. I love these containers, but I feel like they were a little pricey. I could be crazy, but just like to charge $5 for that. I'm like, mm. You got me. They will still be used. Just saying. Okay, uh, something I did get a good deal on. I got all of these little things. I wanna replace some of my spatulas and I liked how sleek this was. I feel like it'd be really great to cook with. So I bought two of them. These were 99 cents. So this is Dollar Tree prices for something that feels actually pretty darn nice. And then I got an extra scrub brush. We could always use these for cleaning for 99 cents. Got a little suction on the bottom to Stick it on the counter. Next, I got this mirror and it was 30 bucks. But look how big it is. Like, look at my head. That's huge and it's really cute. I'll show you. Let me just quit being lazy and open it because I'm gonna open it anyways. Okay, I forgot you have to put like everything together that you buy at Ikea, even a mirror. I forgot. So let's put the mirror together. But it's cute. You can also hang it on the wall if you want to. It has those notches, but it like sits like this on your desk. Get the vibes. Like that's that's the way it goes. So I wanted this for my closet. My God, I'm gonna lose the stuff. Oh, Ty, you have to build the mirror. Build a freaking mirror. A mirror. Next, I got this really nice porcelain dish. This was a little bit more because it does feel a lot nicer than some of the other stuff. This was $19.99, not a terrible price. But again, it looks like this, just a portion of a little dish. I feel like the more and more I cook, the more I could really use stuff like this. So I like it. Be great for the holidays too. Okay, this I thought was a pretty cute deal. So you get the box plus the lid comes on with it. <laughs> These are cute storage containers and they stack and you can also use the top for storage if you just wanna set stuff on top of it. But these were five bucks and 50 cents each. So I got four of them to store stuff in. And then it comes with the nice little lids again that stack into one another. So I also like the color, I like how sleek they were. Um, I'm always attracted to stuff that's like minimal, really pretty and chic and clean. So those are perfect. They also feel really nice. I got these in drawer organizers, which I thought would be kind of great for some of my spaces in the kitchen that don't have organizers in them or in the bathrooms. So they look like this. I picked up three. These were on clearance for $1.50 each. Way cheaper than Target prices and stuff like that. They're pretty Pretty simple. I picked up three because I thought I could line the drawer with them and get some real organization going. I bought a sifter. I think this was like three or four dollars, but you squeeze it. Hey, me and Aaron were trying to sift some flour and stuff together the other day, but you can always just do that. But I wanted an official sifter, okay? Next, I saw literally everybody in the store had these in their carts. So I got two of them. These are food or whatever storage containers. So I bought two of them, a big one and a small, tall and a small, and they costed me a whopping. The big one was $3.99. So I think this one was $2.99. So pretty good deal. Next, I got these bathroom mats. They looked so, I mean, like they are so thick and heavy. They were 19 bucks each, so I picked up two. Very, very soft material. It has that nice rubber backing. So I feel like they were worth the 19 bucks and, well, really 20, but I bought two of them because I was gonna put them both in my bathroom. Next, I bought cookie sheets. I want to get rid of some of mine. They're like rusted and really gross. So I thought it's time and mine are from Ikea, but I've had them for literally four or five years. So it's kind of like wah, wah. this cost me $8.99 for one. Did I mean to get two? I don't even know what's happening. And then lastly, I picked up the same storage containers, but in a really big size. These are so heavy. I believe these were 40 bucks each. 
They're really nice. They also come with that same stackable divoted lid where you could store stuff on top and it looks so pretty and clean or you could stack them. So I like that option. I picked up two and I can show you guys in a little bit how I use them in my closet. But yeah, they're really good. I'm like, is that everything? I think that's everything I got. And so that was like $350 right there. That went quick. But um, now I'm gonna like place some of the stuff around and show you guys how I use it. Let me know what you think. Let's go. Forgot to show you my mixing bowl and I just wanna come back on really quickly and show you. I like that the outside's matte, the inside's glossy. It's like so such a pretty mixing bowl. It was $7.99 and it's huge, literally huge, huge. So I thought I would use this to mix things with. I'm gonna spend my whole night doing this. Whoa, this mirror is so big. I just wanted to show you where I put it, put it in my closet, but look how big it is. Huge. And then you can adjust it by moving that bar down right there. So you can almost see like your whole outfit just about in the mirror. This is like so sicko mode. This mirror is everything. So pretty good deal there. And then I'm gonna show you the bathroom rugs. Okay, one I put here in front of the bathtub. I feel like a rug looks kind of awkward here. By the way, I'm about to remodel this bathroom this year. So we're working on that. But anyway, I don't know, but it's so luxe. I love it. And then I put the second one in front of my shower. Look how big the rug is. It's, it's a great deal. So I think it looks really good there. Okay, I wanna show you guys the before shot of the top part of my closet. So either the containers that are right here, I'm gonna unpack, ignore that mess, pretend that's not there, okay? So I'm either gonna try to stack them in there or I'm gonna try to put them side by side horizontally. I'll be back with the end result. But if this works out well, oh, I'm going to order more. Okay, this is what it looks like now. You guys, two of these fit perfectly on top of one another. One looks shorter than the other, but they are the same size as the angle I'm giving you. My God, so now I'm gonna order two more for this side and I'm gonna line, because I started cleaning out all my cabinets. I like got into that mood, but now I have to clean all this up. So I don't know why I did that. Anyways, I'm gonna order them for these that and i just got so much more storage space um thank you ikea all right guys that's it for this video thank you so much for being here and watching smash that subscribe button you knew i was gonna ask you to do it and i'll see you in the next video